Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make leader stats in Roblox. That when you click on a part or a button, it's not GUI, but physical object like this. If you were to click it, then your coins or points it would be up here. It would go down a certain amount depends on how you you how much you want so yeah that's why it'll be this video yeah all right so to start things out you're gonna go to server script service and click on the little plus here and then click look up if that's not if click on script if that's not there type in script and then it should be there so once you insert that, click on it, and then once it's selected, just click on the name again. Wait a sec. Backspace. Type a name. You can put in whatever you want, but I'm going to do leader stats. Script. And now we're going to make the leader stats. Okay, so we want to get players. So game dot players. So that's the game and then the or the players folder dot player added so whenever a player is added to this um connect function player okay so do that and then we're gonna get we're gonna set the your set so let's do local we're setting a variable first so leader stats is instance dot new this thingy this thingy we're not gonna put in leader stats we're not adding leader stats here yet we're gonna add a folder so basically what this is is a, a variable so local leader stats this is the name of the variable Basic, so variables are basically shortcuts for lines of code. So, leader stats, and so when you type that in, it's just basically shortcut for inserting a new folder. Okay. Basically, I'm, I'm not really good at explaining, but that's not really exactly what it is. I don't know really how to explain it, but let's move on. So, leader stats, we're calling the variable. And so, leader stats that instance that new folder, we're going to get this folder it just made. So, leader stats dot name. So, we're going to name this folder equals then little dingies. I'm too tired to think. Okay. We're going to name it leader stats. Exactly like this. No capital letters. No spaces. It has to be exactly like this. L e a d e r s t a t s, or else it won't work because the game already looks for leader stats. Like, if this is a folder named leader stats, we don't have to add anything else. Basically, well, we do, but I don't really know how to explain it. It's just automatically in there, and we just gotta put it in there. Never mind. <laughs> Leader stats dot parent. Oh, it's not. It's not in players yet. We gotta add it to players. Equals player. Okay, wait. What am I doing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Player. The <laughs> player. So the parent is the player. So this is the player that just joined. It'll add leader stats to the player. Pretty sure that's what's doing. Don't make fun of me. The Oh my god, I can't think comments. Don't make fun of me in the comments. I'm too tired. <laughs> okay. Leader stats dot Do I no, I don't need to do that anymore, do I? Okay, uh so we have the leader stats. Now we gotta Yeah. Local you can name the this is a new variable for what the leader stats are going to be. So if you want to add, make it coins, you can, or points, or 
money, whatever you want. I'm just gonna do points for now is equal to instance we're making a new dot new we're gonna make an int value which is basically if I added in an int value an integer is basically a number so any number this will be how much points you'll have so a number is a number right and here wait yeah okay yeah so a number a number like two that's an integer a boolean is no true or false and a string is a line of text between these we're not really going to be using booleans or string values we're just using what well, we are for this but we're remain right here for points we're going to be using an int value so we're making an integer value an int value and we are going to set okay so we're going to set it up points dot so the int value is going to be named point wait points dot name what did i do hold up okay yeah so points dot why isn't anything working <laughs> did I do some so guys I'm actually an idiot here and I just it took me a bit but I realized what I did and I fixed it so I'm just gonna skip over that so yeah oh I see we gotta do this int value I'm sorry guys I'm too tired to be doing this sorry to just redo what I just made you do you have to or don't here wait sorry if you have it like this you can just highlight it and then just do that and then adds it around okay so now we can continue points dot name equals and then this now the name will be points that's what's gonna show up Okay. If you want if this if you want it to be coins, you can put coins, it doesn't matter. As long as you just every time I put in points in the future, just change it to coins or whatever you have. Okay, so now points dot parent will be equal will be what did I just do? Will be leader stats. Okay. Stats. I think. Okay, yeah, now points. Dot. Let's set a value for the int. In, the int value will be. Let's do zero. This will be the starting value. Okay. So now, if we were to go, we can. I can delete this now. So if we were to go and play it real quickly, you will see. There we go, we have points, and we have zero points right now, so we're going to make a button. You press to add the... Okay, wait. So we're going to make it every second you will gain points. Okay, and is that what I said? You click a button to get rid of the points. Yeah, okay, yeah. So every second you will gain, let's say, one point. Then, click a button, you get rid of the points. Let's set that up. Okay, one sec. Okay, there we go. So, we're gonna first go back into your script. Go to make a loop. So, while true do enter and then put in you gotta do a wait remember always do a wait okay because that's important and you don't want your game to break so put make sure you put wait inside of this loop here put wait at the bottom of the loop so between this and between this and this put in a 
weight and you can also do points dot value plus one that's wrong isn't it okay yeah it is wait points dot value equals points dot value plus one there now now that's better do this okay okay so now we're gonna make the button I'm not I, I don't do very many tutorials guys sorry um okay so we're gonna make a button you can make the button any shape I'm just gonna do a normal block we're gonna press like if you want you can make yours circle it doesn't matter it, as long as it's as long as it's a part it doesn't really matter mine will be this you can customize it anchor it do that make sure it's anchored so when you s put in the part by pressing this select it anchor it and then I'm gonna make my part my part will be blue light blue cyan material stay plastic and reflectance I'll turn that up. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Okay. So this I'll name it to button. Okay, so now click on the little plus. Make sure it'll be in workspace, so little plus next to the button. Add in a click detector. If you want if you can't find it, click on the plus, search object click detector and then inside the click detector insert a script if you can't find the script plus script you get the gist of it okay you can name the script whatever I'm gonna name it uh, point remover is what I'm gonna name it was it points? I forget if I set it to points or coins. Yeah, it was points. Okay. So now we're gonna get rid of the points. So we're gonna get the script's parent, which is the click detector, because parent is what's above it. So what's a, what all the stuff that's inside of workspace is a child of workspace. So this button is a child of workspace. The workspace is a parent of the button. Button is a parent of the click detector. Click detector is a parent of the point remover. Okay. So what a click detector is is basically in game when when you hover your mouse over it, you should see your little cursor will change to like a click thingy, and you can click it, and it'll basically make something happen for whatever you set it to do. Okay. I talk way too much. Let's get into doing this. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so so script dot parent dot mouse click connect function, and then we're gonna do player. Okay, so this is the player who clicked it. It's basic. What the? What did I just do? I accidentally did something. My bad, guys. My bad. I just think I closed the place. Oh, sorry about that. So basically, this is this is just getting the player who clicked the part. So now we're just gonna do player dot player dot leader stats actually spell it correctly leader stats all lowercase no spaces remember no capital letters in leader stats dot points or coins or whatever you put there points dot value remember capital letters and lowercase letters are very important you know so or else it won't work. Say if you put had a lowercase in points, 
then you're going to want to do that. You're going to want to do this. But I add capital, so I'm gonna, pretty sure I add capital, so I'm going to do that. Going to make sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Value is greater than or equal to 100, then n. Okay. Let's get into it now. We are going to make it remove hair coins. So now, uh, player dot leader stats dot points dot value minus equals one hundred. Actually, wait. It's doing. Did I do plus one or plus ten? Uh, oh yeah, I'm making it do plus one. So 100 would be a little big. Let's do 10. So just put that back to 10. Here's the script. This should be good. Let's go out. Let's test it. Okay. Yeah. Points. One, two, three, four. It won't work. It's not getting rid of it. 10, click it, minus 10. And there you go, guys. If you want it to do something, you can keep watching the video. But if that's all you needed, you can just click off the video. But if you want it to actually do something, like spawn it apart or change colors, then keep watching. I'll show you both of those. Okay. So now, let's go to point. I don't know what this is. I didn't add that. Oh, yeah, that's. Doesn't need to be there. That's nothing. Doesn't mean anything. Okay. So if you want it to do something, we can add spaces between it. Let's make it do something. Let's make it change. So this one will be changing the color of the actual button. So let's go to script dot parent dot parent. So it's scripts parent. It's parent. So the button dot Brick color equals, if you want it to be random, you can do brick color dot random. If you want it to be a specific color, you can do brick color dot, uh, brick color dot, wait, what am I doing? Brick color dot new, right. Brick color dot new. Remember these little quotation marks. And then whatever color, so red. It's basically choosing from all of these. Mine's currently cyan. I'm going to change it to this color here, which I know is really red. Uh, if you want to see the names of them, you can just click it and then click whatever color you want. I know this one's really red. I clicked on it, so it's really red. Cyan. Oh yeah, if you want to see it, make sure you have the part selected and you can see the color here in properties. Make sure you have properties open. If you don't, I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys this earlier, go to View, Explorer, and Properties need to be open for this. I'm so sorry if you guys didn't have that. Okay. So, if you guys didn't have it, you guys would probably click off by now anyways. So, whatever. I changed it to really red, so now when I click on it, it'll remove 10 points. And it, it should turn red. Let's see. Let's see if I'm... Let's see if I'm... I'm right. Let's see if it worked. Alright. So we're going to wait for my points to uh, all go up. Points 10. Okay, click it. Minus points. And it's red now. Mine looks a little pink because I also turns its reflectance or re reflectance up reflect ref reflectability reflectance up <laughs> and <laughs> reflectability and um so it looks weird but yours won't look like mine unless you made mine look like it but yeah okay so now if you want to spawn it apart just don't this doesn't really matter if you want to do both you can just keep this in and just add a line below it script dot what am I doing 
No, we want to add a variable local part equals script dot parent. No, it doesn't. It equals instance dot new. Sorry. <laughs> part. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. Okay. Part dot. Let's parent equals game dot workspace. Make sure you do. This is important. Make sure you have this here. It's important. What does this do? Oh, what does that do? What did I just do? I don't know what I'm doing. I didn't know. I didn't know. I don't know what this is. <laughs> okay. So make sure you do game dot workspace part dot parenting game dot workspace. If you just do workspace, I don't know if it'll work or not. I use game dot workspace though. Okay. Now let's choose a color. Part dot brick color equals brick color dot oh wait we already have that sorry guys I'm being a moron once again we do not already have that I'm saying that because we already set the the buttons color so my mom I was all like I'm tired so I was like uh wait, wait we already have we already put that in so the part will already be that color but it's not you can put in um if you want you can put in script dot no, you put in part dot brick color equals brick color dot new and then inside of the little brackets you put in little quotation marks and then whatever color you want. Let's do part dot position dot equals vector three dot new. Now what you're gonna wanna do is get out of it. So where you want the part to spawn, just insert a new part. Drag it to where you want to want it to spawn. I'm gonna make it spawn in the sky, and then it'll just fall down. So this is where it'll spawn, and then it'll just fall down onto my head. Let's so go here. Click on the part in properties. If you scroll down, and once you go down in transform area, under origin, there's position. Click that. Control C or right click copy um delete the part you don't need it anymore go back to your script inside of here little thing you just made control v or paste and that's the coordinates of where it's going to spawn okay so now you can add any other properties to it like part dot um reflectance equals 0. Point Six. You can do part dot transparency equals zero point five. It doesn't matter. This is just the properties of the part that you're gonna spawn in. Like, just look through here if you want to change anything in appearance. There's color. You can enable cast shadow. Like, to do if you want it, don't want it to cast shadow. You can do part dot cast shadow equals false it's not a number since it's true or false so we're just gonna we don't need this okay so let's test it out okay so your points aren't at 10 yet click it nothing's happening right but once it gets to 10 you click it turns red part falls on your head pretty cool right I think it's pretty cool oh wait a minute I'm actually an idiot like I told you just do part dot dot brick color equals brick color dot random or brick color dot new and then these and then I'll do royal blue sorry guys <laughs> again sorry I've been saying sorry a lot Okay, so now, click it, turns red, oh wait, not yet, <laughs> 9, 10, click it, part turns red, random, co or random color or royal blue, whatever color it shows, part falls on your head. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, goodbye.